What's up, you stupid motherfuckers? This is Retro Priestert here. I wanted to make a video on some sort of confusion based on Thorn EMI video. Now what you just saw was the Thorn EMI video logo of 1982 to 1985 from the actual Identathon 53 minute Priestert bullshit that you can find on YouTube which is a great video on a, something called the Video Nasties DVD. Anyway, this is not about that. This is about Thorny EMI video itself. I'm not going to do the history of Thorny EMI, but I wanted to address something that is very confusing. See? For British releases, um, well, let's just go on about the American releases. First, the American releases that have the logo at the bottom. Um... Uh, for the side anyway, uh, maybe not for the, yeah, uh, but like bigger, like pretty big at the, the, for the American ones. Now this is supposed to be a pre-cert, because if you can see with this Thorny MI video, this is at the top and it's smaller. That's supposed to be the original pre-certs. This is a movie called Privates on Parade, which has Monty Python's John Cleese in it. So, pretty good John Cleese, and this other character I'm not familiar with. Dennis Quilly or whatever. George Harrison was involved in producing this executively. But anyway, this is not about George Harrison or John Cleese, or Monty Python or the Beatles. This is about Dorney and my video. Now, this is supposed to be a, an original British tape. Now, down here, don't worry about the rental sticker over here from some place called Video Flicks. London, Ontario. From London, England to London, Ontario. Yeah, this is Hamilton Road. Hamilton's another part of Canada. But over here, this this white thing here, not this one, but the one over here, that is an American import. For one, England doesn't have PG-13. And two, um, you know, like, they didn't have PG-13 back in the, in the pre-cert days. They had, like, uh, they had that, like, about, uh, the mid to late 80s. And this tape is from 1983, so early 80s. And also, you have the original pre-cert 15 rating there, very hard to make out. But, um, just, like, over there. Well, if you can't see it, but if you have private on parade, it's... You'd be able to see it then. But, um, yeah. You girls looking at that. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, this is not about anybody. Uh, this is about the one EMI. But this cover was designed by someone named Blake Sears. But anyway, if it wasn't for this little white thing at the bottom, it would definitely be a whole British thing because it still has got the pre pre-cert 15 rating on there. Yet the Americans imported it as PG-13. England has something called 12A. They didn't even have the 12 rating yet until like 1989. 12, uh, 12A, I think they've probably gotten like what, maybe late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, pro probably around the early 2000s or something. Um, anyway, and another thing, well, I bought this in, in downtown Spadina, a place called BMV, which is a used bookstore, books, magazines, videos. And obviously, whoever had this first, because of the American deportation, or sorry, Importation, not deportation. The American importation, rather than the original Thorny of my videotape, which it's supposed to be like a, a white label, but with like a small light blue Thorny of my logo, um, like to so the, like the let's see, the the left center. They have this American version of Thorny of my releases that you find on the American NTSC tapes. This is an NTSC tape, but in bigger. I know bigger is better, but I'm just saying like this is definitely not the original. This is like second original, semi-original. Um, I'm assuming this, yeah, this tape is also from 1983. Because the movie, per Parrot, uh, sorry, Private on Parade, is from the year 1981. And they were using a different Thorny MI logo at the time. The, the one on here is from 1982 to 1985. Because this tape, as well as the original British one, is from 1983. But, um, 
So this is definitely an original for the Americans, but the original original, because Thorny and Mai was a British company, is now known as HBO Entertainment, and that's an American thing, which HBO and Thorny and Mai were playing tag back in the day. EMI music still exists, which existed before Thorny and Mai. But yeah, the Americans just made this at the same time the original British thing. I'm just saying, the original British one would be like a smaller light blue thing here. Thorny and Mai logo, rather than this dark uh, brownish purplish. It's actually like a brown color, actually, brown. And it's bigger. Oh well, it doesn't really matter anyway because they show the same stuff, same shit uh, at the uh, as the British one would. But I'm just uh, just pointing out that this is an American release in a British pre-cert one because if if this was if this was American itself, the logo would be down here and it'd be bigger. Um, and it would also be here. It might be up here, but bigger. But this would definitely be down here. It wouldn't be like this up here and small. Like that. So, yeah. Same example with this thing. Scrubbers. Which I did an Aussie Roadshow parody, but just with this. And the same story here with some of the label missing. But at least this part wasn't missing, so you could see that. But, um, now there's no rating on here. This is 15 AA. But there's no rating here, but it's still an American import. Because, uh... It mentions printed in USA, and it's supposed to be a British thing. Both, I think, film and video of this is from 1982. Also from Handmade Films, but George Harrison had nothing to do with a scrubby dub 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 scrubby dub dub. Ow! Fucking hell. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to point out that confusion if anybody was wondering about that. Differences of Thorny and mine, and I had to actually put that sleeve in a, in a case because it was just a sleeve when I found it. But that case was a blank case, but I didn't have to do that with this one. I just bought it like this. I was lucky to find that outside for free, outside a store. If it was in the store, I'd have to buy it. But I had to buy this one for the same price, one dollar. I wish you could get more expensive stuff there. Fucking yeah, me. But anyway, so that's that. That is a retro pre-cert. Comes to heavy metal music, stay bang in your head. The fucking quiet right. Bang your head. It's not my fault if you get injured. As Michael Rhodes would say.